If gun control laws are passed, they may be modeled on the assault weapons ban, which was in place from 1994 to 2004. To understand more about that controversial piece of legislation, I spoke earlier today back in the newsroom with the Wonk Blog's Brad Plumer. So I think that the two main questions with the assault weapons ban, so-called assault weapons ban, mm -hmm. is, is what did it ban and did it work? Yeah. And they're both really complicated questions. So first, let's just try and tackle what did it ban? Right, so the biggest problem Congress was facing is that there's no technical definition of an assault weapon. Sort of an invented term. It's an invented term that uh, in a lot of ways Congress invented. Mm -hmm. Automatic weapons have been strictly regulated since the 1930s. These are, you press the trigger, uh, it fires continuously. Uh, but then there are semi-automatic weapons that reload automatically but fire once. These are most weapons these days. Um, so you can't, Congress wasn't going to ban all of them. So they tried to just focus on what they saw as the most dangerous weapons. And they defined 19 different models and certain features on the guns uh, that they called military type features were illegal to uh, manufacture or uh, sell for civilian use with one exception. Any weapons that were already in existence in private hands were okay. You could own them, you could resell them. Well, another part was that these high capacity magazines that could hold um, large numbers of rounds were also technically banned. Uh, a lot of gun manufacturers actually ramped up production before uh, the law took hold. So there were basically plenty of what Congress defies assault weapons and large capacity magazines in the country uh, by the time the law took effect. So the law had significant loopholes. Did it work? Did it change crime? Well, uh, for the most part, criminologists who have said this think it didn't very much. And there's a reason for that is that the assault weapons that Congress uh, looked at and banned only take place in a small number of gun crimes to begin with. M most crimes are committed with guns that weren't banned, even exactly. by the assault weapons yeah. ban. There is one exception where there's at least suggestive evidence in that the number of casualties from mass shootings did seem to go down when the ban was in effect. Uh, but again, this was 10 years, 1994 to 2004, and these are fairly rare events, so it's very hard to tell whether that was just a blip or whether it was actually effect of uh, this assault weapons ban. So if the ban had big loopholes mm -hmm. and it didn't seem to significantly change gun violence, What's the argument for reinstating it? So one argument that you hear from gun control advocates is that it's possible to keep uh, tightening these loopholes. So for instance, uh, when the first ban was in effect, um, gun manufacturers could often make minor tweaks to existing guns, and they would be essentially guns that were just as powerful, uh, but perfectly legal. Uh, one thing that the gun control advocates could point to is Australia, which actually did a much more sweeping version of this ban. They had a school shooting in 1996, and after that, there was high support for gun control laws uh, to change this. And what they did, they banned all semi-automatic long guns, basically rifles and shotguns. And they paired that with a buyback program, where the government actually bought back weapons from people who already had them that were now banned. And researchers who have studied that have found that it seems to have been very effective. The problem is that would just be very difficult here. For one, a buyback program would be much more expensive in the US. You know, there are maybe 200 million guns out there in private hands, maybe more. Um, and if there's not public support for it, that just makes it really difficult. Right, Australia also has the benefit of being an island nation with no Second Amendment. Yes, yes, that's very true. Okay. Brad, thanks a lot. Yeah, thank you.